February 2021. While 2020 wasn't the year that anyone wanted, 2021 was hopefully going to be a better year. And those hopes and dreams were seemingly reinforced when one of the largest franchises in all of media was seemingly crossing over with one of the largest video games around. Peter Griffin was going to join Fortnite. It seems so perfect. Fortnite, a game that has essentially become the largest crossover event in all of history, including characters from live action, animated, real life, and video game universes, all within a place that would eventually be referred to as a metaverse by a dude that watched half of Ready Player One and an Applebee's on TNT while slamming three, no four, mozzarella sticks. In 2020, Fortnite went into overdrive. Before then, we had some cool characters in the game and some interesting crossover but nothing too out of the realm of possibility. These characters tended to cross over into other properties fairly regularly. Star Wars, superheroes, sports teams. These are not the most outlandish or inconceivable brands to appear in a very popular video game. But in December 2020, that all changed because a few characters came into the fold that are associated with exclusivity. Kratos from God of War and Master Chief from Halo joined the battle. Looking back on it now, it doesn't do justice. Because remember, this is before God of War was even on PC. This was the first time you could control Kratos with Xbox or PC prompts popping up. With Master Chief, it's a little bit different. Microsoft was a bit more liberal with their brand, having Halo on PC and such, but it's still a major moment for Fortnite, signifying in many ways ways that there was nothing off the table. Only a week later, characters from The Walking Dead joined. After that, Predator. After that, Terminator. After that, G.I. Joe. After that, Tron. After that, Flash. And then Ryu and Chun-Li from Street Fighter. It was wild. But that was the moment that the real madness started. See, when Ryu and Chun-Li were added into the game, so was an arcade machine backblink, a little backpack item that you could equip for cosmetic purposes. But with that came a very interesting addition to the game's code. French Fry was the name of some specific files within the game that were data mined, including some sound effects and a very interesting texture. Yes, this was really in the game's files, and to many it was a smoking gun. People, including myself, believe that this was meant to be, that they were going to bring Peter Griffin into Fortnite. Why would they add in a full scene from Family Guy, multiple full scenes from Family Guy into the game's code? And this brought up a few questions. Number one, Fortnite is a children's game. Would they actually do this? Number two, Peter is a big dude. Is he actually possible to be in the game? And number three, why the fuck is there footage from the show in Fortnite? Why would they need that? These are all good questions. But after the initial shock of the possible collaboration washed over me, these questions started to find some pretty plausible answers. In terms of this being a kid's game, that's true, but also every single Predator movie has been rated R. So if we're going by that, Fortnite is not afraid of bringing in characters that are based almost solely within adult-themed pieces of media. Okay, what about Peter's pure size? I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest expert when it comes to hitboxes and such, but a large larger than life character has been done multiple times within Fortnite, including Thanos. And he doesn't look ridiculous compared to the other characters either. So if they can add the literal mad Titan himself, I'm sure they can figure out Peter Griffin. The last question I had was the most perplexing one. Why was there footage in the game? Maybe it was for some elaborate reveal trailer where they have the big chicken and Peter dueling as they fall into some Fortnite portal. Maybe it was just going to be playing in the theater that Fortnite had in game. But that should have been my first and biggest red flag. And let me be absolutely clear and honest here. I haven't been a fan of Family Guy since I was a child. I would watch the first volume of Family Guy that was released on the PSP, but over the years, as my use of the PSP declined and my attention to Fox's animation domination weaned, I fell into the Family Guy was good and now it's bad camp that I believe many of you probably fall into as well. Do I really know a Family Guy is bad? No. 
Either way, my joy for Family Guy and Peter Griffin potentially coming into Fortnite wasn't a genuine excitement for playing as the beloved character as some of the other collaborations have been in the past for me. Instead, I found myself wanting to play as him for the absolute absurdity. Imagine this, Batman hanging out with John Wick as they try to pump shotgun Peter Griffin off of the Mandalorian ship. That was a very real thing that could have happened, and while I'm writing the script and reading it, I can't stop laughing about it. As the months went on and the memes continued to grow more and more elaborate, there were no more leaks, no more data mines, and definitely no confirmation from Epic Games themselves. Months passed. LeBron James joined. Ariana Grande had a concert. Zendaya joined the lineup, not once, but twice, and still no Peter Griffin. There was a bit of resurgence of hope when the new season launched and Rick from Rick and Morty joined the Battle Pass, but news was still nowhere to be found about the family guy himself hot dropping. I started to look at this fan image lovingly, wishing that it would come to be, sometimes just sending it to my friends with no explanation. Something about this image is so special and it is probably the reason I'm making this video because it is so absurd but I could see it happening, but it wasn't happening. And on August 12th, we found out why. About six months after the rumors originally started, they came to a screeching halt. Prolific leaker and Fortnite insider at FNBR Unreleased on Twitter tweeted the following. Fun fact, Family Guy being inside the game's files was a joke by Epic to troll leakers. In a follow-up tweet, he said, was told a year ago by someone at Epic that they would start trolling data miners. This is what he was talking about. And with that, articles and Reddit posts confirmed what we believe to be the end of the line for Peter Griffin in Fortnite. It was some inside joke from Epic Games to fool us, and we fell right into their hands. But I wasn't satisfied with that conclusion. I reached out to FNBR himself on Twitter to ask him a few questions and make sure that there wasn't something I was missing. Maybe there was a glimmer of hope. But sadly, FNBR himself reinforced what he tweeted with a bit more detail in my DMs. He said, I'm 99% sure the whole Family Guy animation added was a joke and used for testing purposes. This is very common in video game development to put in a random GIF just to test something out. This is what I originally thought, only to be later confirmed by one of my close contacts. And while I cannot personally confirm his close contacts, FNBR does have a history within the community for leaks and insider information. And with that, I only had one last question. Is there any future for Peter Griffin in Fortnite. His answer didn't make things better. Family Guy isn't something most people would expect to see in Fortnite, and Epic obtaining the rights would be very unlikely. As of now, I've heard nothing about that being a future collab, and my knowledge of upcoming collaborations far extend most people in this community. So I can confidently say no. So we've reached the end of this journey, and I guess the final leg of this video is dedicated to Epic Games themselves. I know some people watch this channel that actually work on the Fortnite team, so hear my cry. Peter Griffin in Fortnite is very funny. <laughs> it's a very stupid and very funny idea, and I will spend real money that I've earned, coincidentally writing this, on a Peter Griffin skin and any potential bundle you might sell. 2021 wasn't the best, but 2022 can be the year that Peter Griffin joins Fortnite. I'll see you on the next video.